Hi, my name is Heather, and welcome to another episode of my Wix Artist website series, where I'll be showing you how you can create your own artist website from the ground up. Today, we're going to be adding and styling the subscribe form. I already have one on Leanne's website that I'm going to start with. But if you don't have your subscribe form on your website yet, you can scroll down to where you want to add it. And if you have something down here, you can add a new section. So you can click the add section button and you can just do blank section. And then this is where you'll add your form. Now you can go to the plus sign for add elements, go to contact and forms, and grab one of these forms and just drop it in. You can change the background color if you go to design, and you can choose one of these designs that already exist, or you can go to customize design, form background, fill color, and just set it to zero. And for the rest of this tutorial, I'm going to use Leanne's form from when we first created her website in a previous video. So I'm going to click in here, click design, and I'll go to customize design. And here I can go to input fields and text, and I can change the font. And then I could do submit button and change that text. And you could change all kinds of stuff here too, like the color. Actually, I'll make that red. That'll look cool. And then I'll X out of that. And now we can close that. Now I'm going to go to Elements. And I'll show you how we can capture more information if we want to. So this only captures the email address. If we wanted to, we could add like first name and last name. So I'll just go here and I'll click the little plus sign. We can also add some anti-spam here, which I think is a good idea overall. You just go down here to anti-spam and add the recaptcha. And that's just going to add the little check mark that says I'm not a robot. And now we can close that. I can also reorder the fields if I want to. And I'm going to click here on subscribe form. Let's just change this text. Sign up for updates. For search engine optimization, our headings are important. And we have our heading one here that we used for the site title. And things that are underneath the site title, we want those headings to be heading two. So I'm going to pick heading two here. And actually, let's edit heading two so that it uses the font that we want to use. So I'm going to go down here to edit theme. And I'm going to change the font here. For our paragraph font, we don't want to use this rock salt font because it's a very decorative font and it's not really for reading large paragraphs. It's just for headings. So we're going to use like more of a standard font, but I do want to pick something different than Helvetica. So let's see what goes good with this title font. I'm just going to pick this font for now, but we'll probably come back and change it because right now we don't have any big pieces of body text that we can really see what it's going to look like together. But once we fill out the other pages, then we can better choose a font that really goes with this title font. Now let's also click Customize Heading Styles and then click on this heading too because I want to make the font size smaller too. So I'm going to pull this down. And you can change other things here too, like the color. Let's try red. We've been using a lot of red, so I think black and red might end up being a good theme but we'll also see what Leanne thinks. I do notice that she's got some pops of red in a lot of her art, so that's why I think that would be a good color scheme for her. Now we can X out of that. I'm gonna click on the heading here and double click so I'm editing it. And the font size here is custom, and you can tell because it has this star on it. I wanna reset it to what I actually set for the theme. So I'm going to scroll down and do reset to theme. And now it has the changes that I made to the theme. 
This is really important because you don't want to have to change every heading to if you want your heading sizes to change. You could just go into your global settings, change your heading sizes, and it'll change it across the board. I do also think I want to make these text fields a little bit smaller. So I'm going to click on a text field and click the little design button. And let's go to customize design and text. And for this one, I want to change it from heading one to heading three. And the reason why we're doing that is because the sign up for updates is a heading two, and these are nested underneath heading two. So these need to be heading three. And again, that's for SEO and also for accessibility, which is screen readers, etc. So I have heading three selected here. I'm going to make this smaller. And here's another cool thing you can do is that if you're changing it in here and you decide that's what you want to use from now on for your heading three, you can click save to theme and you can do it that way. So this says save the changes you made to heading three and then everywhere you use heading three in your website, it's going to look like this now. So let's do save to theme. And then we can close out of that and we'll just change the other ones so that they are also heading three. I hope this all makes sense. If you want me to make a video that's just specifically on like the headings and the structure of everything for search engines, let me know and I can do that too. I'm just going to move this over because it was kind of out pretty far. And let's center these. I like that, but I'm thinking it would be really cute to have one of Leanne's little characters here. So let's move this whole thing over. So if I grab this box, that's the subscribers form, and I could just move it over. And then let's have one of her little characters here. So I'm going to do add elements, and I'm going to do an image. And I'll go down to site images, and let's do show more. I love the guitar guy. So let's use him. And I'm going to go to cutout background. And over here, let's do auto cutout. And you can see how that cut out the background, and now we can put him isolated by himself. It's going to be so cute. But it did miss this part right here, so let's go to Refine Cutout. Let's zoom in here, and I'm going to turn this size down, and let's do Erase. And I'll just erase this part here. Now we can do restore and just fix some of these parts where I just took a little bit too much out here. I'm going to click preview changes and I'll do apply. And add to page. I think actually it might be better for him to be on the left since he's kind of facing the right. That is so cute. I love that guitar guy. We can also make a little bit of separation between these two sections if we just make this one a different background color. So maybe I'll make this one just a little bit of a darker gray. So I'm going to click on change background and I'll go to color and let's make it a little bit darker. And now we can close that. And then I'll also change the form background. So I'm going to click on the form and go to design, customize design, form background, fill color. And we can actually just not have a background. So I'm actually just going to pull that out so it just brings in the background of what's behind it. And then I'll X that out. And the last thing I want to do is just add a divider here. So clicking on this section, I'm going to go to Shape Dividers, and I'm going to do the top divider, and I'll pick maybe the brush one. And I can go to Customize and change it if I want to. And then I'll X out of that. And I think I just want a little more space up top so that it's not overlapping with the divider. So I'm just going to pull these elements down and I'm just going to delete this out because this was just one of the default things that was here. So I'm just going to click it and just click delete on my keyboard. And then I'm going to click the section and do delete. So that section is gone and we can preview our site by going to preview. 
And here we can see what it would look like in the web browser. This is all I'm gonna do for today and stay tuned for the next video where we'll start filling out some more of the sections and adding more features. I hope this video was helpful. If you're working on an artist website, let me know in the comments. Join my creativity club on Facebook and you can share your website there as well. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And as always, you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.